one thing I wondered for some years now is why in today's modern gaming we must stick to the 3D big titles games, not that I don't like the experience that comes from them. But there is this overall stupid notion that if a game is not featuring a ridiculously great graphic, the game is not worth the attention, or that if there is no great studio or publisher involved, it's easy to pass on the title. But of course, such stereotypical point of view is not true and certainly is not justified. And that is why my excitement and positive feelings were much greater when I heard about Obsidian Entertainment new project. So, Project Eternity, this is of course the working title for the game, was announced a few days ago. For anyone who does not know, it's a Kickstarter initiative featuring an old-school isometric party-based RPG that in gameplay will be similar to HD&D titles from a decade ago. Such titles as, of course, Baldur's Gate series, Icewind Dale series or Planescape Torment. Each of these games very warms up my heart. Obsidian was also involved in creating some of these games, and since a lot happened around RPGs, what is now considered an RPG is much more different than it was used to 10 years ago. It is also a great question, what makes a computer game an RPG actually? A lot of people ask this when it comes to Mass Effect. We also know that Mass Effect's situation was more difficult because uh, the game was described as an action RPG and we all tried to understand what is, what are the action and what are the RPG elements. Uh, or is the pinnacle of RPGs the new uh, Bethesda game Skyrim? I know one thing, I don't have an answer to that question. But back to the initiative then. What makes, it, uh, what makes the Project Eternity a really good opportunity is the fact that many, like me, uh, we really enjoy the type of gameplay that Infinity Games created. The lack of game that complex and demanding in today's gaming is quite visible. Uh, not that it is all, and it is also very disturbing. So I want to spread the word that there is such a nice studio that still remembers uh, old school isometric games. It's not all about 3D, HD, cinematics, number of lines, motion capture. The game is defined by what we call the gameplay. And as long that the gameplay is enjoyable, we can have fun with the game, that's good. It's hard to say more about this uh, game itself, because Project Eternity was just announced a few days ago. We know what the studio aims for, but as long as we will not have more knowledge about the game itself, screenshots, uh, story knowledge, any this that we are left with pure speculation that is also why i will not start screaming uh, about this is, about the game that it will be a great success or that uh, i'm uh, i'm hopeful uh, such things i don't want to do that i just hope this game to be a good game nothing more nothing less but there is one more thing when it comes to the fact that obsidian entertainment decided to have a kickstarter for it the goal was and you're right i'm using the past tense 1 million 100 thousand dollars and it was reached in 27 hours and the game is still uh, the counter still goes up which means there are still people who want to support the game and I believe it will be, for now, it's one of the fastest growing Kickstarters projects in the history of the idea. So, if you had a good time in the end of 90s with such titles as Bioware's and Black Isle games, feel free to wait, as I'm waiting, for the new game, and for the fact that we will see a new isometric game from Obsidian Entertainment, probably also, from a technical point of view, much better and prepared to work on today's modern computers or even modern consoles. One more thing, this game will be their its own idea. In the video th that informs about the Kickstarter, the designers give us uh, an information that they want a new original setting. So a little bit like Dragon Age uh, setting came from Bioware writers, so there will be no probably no HD&D system, but that's not that big of a problem. I hope I gave you also a reason to feel quite happy, because I do, when I heard about the project and about the whole situation. It is a great news for anyone who is real role-playing gamer. I also hope you like the music. I deliberately choose the Icewind Dale theme for this audio blog, one of my favorite uh, gaming soundtracks of all time in gaming. My name is Gabriel and it was, it was always a good feeling to share my thoughts with you. See ya!